So now I'm going to discuss a very detailed topic is alternative investment. Uh, we will see what are the type of investments and how it works. Uh, we should always remember that there is uh, some, a term called traditional investments and there are alternative investments. Now traditional, when we say traditional, it, it goes more about investing in those products which are quite old and um, related to a little bit of cash bonds and they are less riskier than the newly built up uh, investment structured products. People generally previously used to handle traditional investment in terms of investing in uh, cash bonds and publicly traded stocks but they were always concerned about the uh, return on investments these were not that way and the risk and the return factors were a bit different and of course the transparency of the instruments was quite high and over the time when the financial industry goes longer and having more precedents to handle the different scenarios so it becomes more regulated as well there was a need to think about new products innovative products out of box thinking to bring better product in which people can invest and which are less transparent less regulated but the return on investment is higher than the traditional product of course because of the risk factors in our course kaya we are uh, going to discuss the very important alternative investment option called real assets people have mentality if you tell them you need to invest in a derivative they will feel a little bit reluctant because they can't see it from their eyes so what they do is if you tell them this is the land this is the home this is the tower this is the property so they will be more excited and attracted towards it that's the reason that the real assets are a hot item in terms of alternative investments we'll see how to build a real asset we talk about uh, agricultural land we talk about timber we talk about forest a commercial properties, residential property, townhouses, housing colonies, uh, infrastructural land. So all this is, uh, will be discussed in the real assets. Hedge funds, mutual funds, these are always a great source of accumulating money. So in United States, according to the regulation, it is a bit easier to form a fund. So when you raise a fund, uh, different people contribute to this fund. This fund itself runs its own by a fund manager and this fund create profits uh, for the fund investors and the fund managers as well. So it's a very beautiful concept that uh, where you as a single investor don't have enough money or expertise to run a, a particular type of business. So you start looking for a fund was created. So fund can be restricted, it can be unrestricted. It can be for a particular uh, product and it can be open one. For example, if I, I don't have any investment preferences, I just have money, so I'll go and I will invest my money with any investment option like which I find is more appropriate value for my money. Uh, for example, like if I am an Islamic investor and I don't want to put my money in, in a movie which is not considered decent or a wine uh, production or uh, some, you know, casino knows I don't want to invest for example so what I need to do is I need to restrict money for usage of a certain fields like education airport infrastructure health so that's where uh, the you know preferences uh, structuring uh, requirements IPS investment policy statements risk appetite uh, investor preferences comes into uh, where we can choose which hedge fund or a mutual fund has to be used but it's a huge industry and it's growing uh, even people are talking about now the crowdfunding um, there are a lot of funds growing 
and options are creating day by day. Private equity is always an interesting part of the industry. Suppose you are a high net worth individual and you have a lot of money, you want to multiply this money, so you are going to manage your private money into a decent way. So private money can be in any type, it can be a share capital, we call it as equity. So generally, you know, when you raise money, so you have different options, you can go for a liability financing that you can call it as debt financing and if you have a share capital contribution then we can call it as equity financing so private equity is a very interesting topic and it's an alternative investment tool uh, where we can play with the equity calculations and we can bring better results better dividend for the uh, investors that I'm going to discuss in detail. These are all chapters one by one. We will go into real assets, hedge fund, mutual funds. And then of course, uh, we will discuss about private equity as well. Structuring is a very interesting tool, technique, and a term that is quite uh, widely used in investment professions. For example, like when, when an investor come to us, according to the portfolio management rules that we have to diversify the risk and returns, we, we should not put all money in one option, like it's just split your basket, put your eggs in different box, baskets. So if one basket um, rotten, you can have different and it should not affect the other basket. So I try to divide the risk and the return. So what we do is when an investor comes, we choose, pick and choose different kind of investment options. Of course, you have to gauge the investor uh, mind in terms of risk appetite, um, cash flow situation, family positioning, all that factors that we need to consider. And of course, uh, then you will be able to build up a portfolio. So you will do a structuring. Structuring is really interesting and there are some methods to do structuring, which is I'm going to explain it shortly. When we do structuring, we are very, we need to take care of a lot of factors like uh, the most important is the tax factor. So some countries uh, are having uh, tax uh, they are very notorious for high tax and some countries they are considered as tax havens. So being an alternative analyst uh, or dealing with a particular investor when you are talking about a structuring, so risk uh, and tax factor, these are the most important factors that we should keep in our mind. So when we create structuring, of course, there are collateral that we need to involve ourselves and there is a derivative market that will come when we are going to do a structuring. Structuring is uh, getting quite generalized. So we have uh, regulatory structures. We can base our structure on the basis of security. We can structure based on a trading mechanism and we can also structure institutions for the various options. It's very, very important for any alternative and analyst that he or should advise the investor to diversify the risk and returns. Diversification is really, really important aspect of our uh, investment industry and we should create a different kind of portfolios. Of course, in quantitative, we will discuss that. We should uh, use the concept of correlation. We should have some negative correlation in a particular portfolio. We should calculate the group uh, returns. We should concept use the concept of beta. We should see the market moments. These all are really very important to get a better value from your investments.